Right, farmers, it's Friday the 29th of March, and we're back with some mods. So first up, in what can only be described as a Case IH day, because let's face it, all the mods today are for Case IH, we've got this, the Steiger 715 Quad Track. Oh, fair enough. This is by Custom Money and Kyle Farms, 41.01 megabyte on the download, and you're going to find it, as you can well imagine, under large tractors. Now... This has got some tasty figures to go along with its tasty name. 778 horsepower, that's great. 26 mile an hour, that's all right. But come to the price. 1,067,000. Wow, for a tractor, over 1 million. Right, okay, fair enough. Then we've got two brands on the wheels. They're tracks, but all right. So we've got Lizard. And we got Continental. Now, in the various versions, you got 30 inch, 32 inch, 36, and then back to 30s. And a couple of different styles of tracks, but 30, 32, and 36 are the whips. I mean, it's the same on the Continentals as well. So you just obviously go for whichever tread pattern you want. Although, to be fair, don't know that much different, but all right, fair enough. Design so you got the US as standard, you then got an EU version that puts the signs on. You got an oversized version, which I'd say probably is like Australia. They normally have the oversized on stuff like this. And then back to US. Now, if you leave the EU version on, obviously you've got the warning signs on the front and the back. Not a problem. If you come down to front options, if you go £1,000, it puts some weights on the front. 2200 puts some weights on the front. Rock box gets rid of the signs so if you want the signs on just don't have the rock box and it only happens on the eu version obviously if you go for the us it's got no signs on the front anyway if you go for the oversized version it puts on the front of the rock box that's all right so if you're going for the eu version yeah and you want the signs on the front just leave off the rock box i mean you can have the two weights if you wanted to the thousand and the 2200 no problem then we come to the windows so you got default Light tint, dark tint, black tint, or default. I mean, that that looks like you're not going to be able to see out of it at all. It's like it's been painted. All right, fair enough. Then we've got in-cab monitors. So we've got none. Oh, spin it around like that. There we are. None, field viewer, precision planting, precision planting and field viewer, real dashboard, field viewer and real dashboard, or nothing. Then you've got floor covering. So you've got standard or carpet. Carpet again. Or default. So you've got rubber. What's that? Beige carpet. On a tractor. Oh, that's just asking to get dirty. Then you've got, well, basically a, a black carpet. And then obviously back to default. So exhaust. So you've got default. Rain cap. Or default. Then attaches. Now around the back. So we've got rear hitch. Rear weight bracket. 3,100 pound weight. 4,500 pound. A quick hitch. Or rear hitch. Now, I'm saying I'd go with the quick hitch because obviously that just makes it you know, more universal to use with all your implements. Then we've got the fleet numbers. So it goes from one all the way up to number nine, if you wanted to. Then we've got the main color. You can have red, black, silver, or green. Hmm, that's bright. That's bright, I must admit. But there is some nice touches in this, I must admit. So if you do LB and right stick left and right... I mean, you go in cab for that. Right, you look at that screen there. LB and right stick, left and right. Flicks between them. I mean, they're just for decoration, mind you. I mean, that has got the dials on there, but obviously that one is not going to show you what's going on in the field. But that's ace. You can flick between them. I mean, especially with that one. you got the details on the go. you got the kilometers an hour. Oh, that's all right. That's all right indeed. Now, if you do LB and RB together and left stick, left and right... Moves the whole seat round. If you do LB and RB together and right stick up and down. Where's it gone? Where's it gone? Have I not? Ah, uh, no. There you are. Oh, it's left and right. It's not up and down. LB and RB together and right stick left and right opens up the door. RB and right stick left and right. What's that? What does that seem to be doing? That doesn't seem to be doing anything, to be fair. And RB and right stick up and down. It's moving the steering wheel backwards and forwards. But we'll save the bets bit for last. Because if you spin it around and front like that, and do L, B, and A, open the bonnet, open the hood, however you want to call it. Oh, no, there you are, that's better. 
pressed Y instead of A, so it's a much better option. You open the bonnet. I mean, I'm not sure why you'd want to fix a million pound track to yourself, but you can. Oh, that is awesome. Right, so from this point onwards, all the mods are by Case IH Brazil and eConnect modding. So I'm just going to say that right from the start. The rest from this point in the video are from those guys. So we've got this, the Case IH Patriot 250 Sugarcane. This has got 51.06 megabyte download, and you're going to find it on the sprayers. Now... You need to be a little bit careful with this, and we'll show you why in a little bit. So it's got 177 horsepower engine, 37 mile an hour top speed, 2,500 litre capacity, and we've got a 32 metre working with 15 mile an hour working speed, a little bit cheaper than the tractor we've just seen. It's only going to cost you 145 grand, that's all right. You've got working whips, you've got standard, special bar for sugar cane. Now this is the important bit, or standard. So if you've got the special bar for sugar cane on, it drops the working whip to 27 meters. Just bear that in mind if you're going to be getting one of these on the go. You've got wheel setups, you've got standard or narrow tyres. And reservatory, yes or no, puts a little extra tank on. So it goes from standard at 2,500 litres up to 2,700. Now, I'll show you what I mean by the actual bar itself. So we've got this one here with the sugar cane bar on, which is a great idea, I must admit. I mean, it looks ace. So if we do that, unfold... LB and A, yeah, we'll unfold it. And there's a couple other tricks on this as well. Because if you do LB and right stick left and right, moves the tracks out. That's awesome. And if we spin it around there like that, if we do LB and left on your D-pad, open cover, put that down so you can fill it up. Now, if you've got that closed, you can't fill it up. I know some is just, you know, just for the aesthetics of it. But no, you do need to open it up to fill it up. Fair enough. And then we've got RB, uh, RB and right stick up and down. It's going to move the blinds. <laughs> Fair enough. Now, obviously getting back to the subject in hand. The extra bar on the back for the sugar cane. Now, obviously, if you do lower it down. Just LB and right stick up and down. So you lower it down like that. Yeah, no problem. You crack on. You know, you, you spray your herbicide, your sugar cane, whatever. But, look, oh, I'm stuck. Looking at these. These bits seem to fold out. And they do. But not if you've got this bar on. Because I've got a standard one over here. There we are. So we're jumping here like that. Right, so we'll turn the engine on. We'll unfold that. Obviously, all the other options are the same. The blind and the, the wheel tracks and whatever, that's fine. So then you get to that bit and then they fold out. So if you've got that, well, let's face it, it looks like a dribble bar to me. If you've got that attached, you're going to have a little bit of a smaller working width. So if you're doing sugar cane, if you want to go down the whole immersive route, by all means go for it. But if you want to get the biggest version of this, you're going to need to go for the standard one. I mean, it shouldn't really make that much difference. In the whole scheme of things in the game, it should still fertilise and herbicide sugar cane anyway. It's entirely up to you. Next up is the Case IH Easy Riser 3215. Again, this is by Case IH Brazil and eConnect Modding. 30.87 megabyte on the download, and you're going to find it under planters. Now, oh, it's, it's a planter, right? Let's just cut to the chase on that one. It's going to do your planting shenanigans. You've got your hitch height 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And then back to one. So if you've got a high hitch on your tractor, go for number one. If you've got a low hitch, go for number five. It's got a 4,490 litre capacity. That's going to be split over the fertilizer and your seed. It's going to require 200 horsepower from your tractor. It's got 6.8 metre working width, 9 mile an hour working speed. But the detail. I mean, yeah, at the end of the day, right, it's going to plant stuff into the ground. You know, normal planter stuff, whatever. But the detail on this is awesome absolutely awesome but it doesn't just finish there so i've got one attached here right now this is what i'm on about by detail so if we zoom in onto that hatch at the back right if you do lb and left on the d-pad it's going to unhitch the latches that's brilliant it's like a little thing you probably wouldn't even notice unless you zoomed in really close but that's awesome. And then it closes it up, latches it down, and then opens up the front bit. Oh, that is ace. 
And next up is the Case IH Fast Riser 6127, again by Case IH Brazil and eConnect Modding, 38.27 megabyte on the download. You're going to find this one under planters as well. So this has got a 5,540 litre capacity on the seed tank. It's only going to do seed, it's not going to do fertilizer as well. It requires 240 horsepower from your tractor, 15 meter working width, 9 mile an hour working speed, 250 grand, quarter of a million. You could buy four of these instead of that Steiger at the beginning, but all right, fair enough. Now, there is no options, but again, custom modding, the detail, and it's all the pipework and the springs and everything, but it just goes back to everything else. I mean, we'll unfold it, right? We'll watch this unfolding animation. It's just awesome. I mean, it lowers it down, lowers that front bit down, then folds those down. And that, that, that's brilliant obviously it folds them out and then pulls it forward and whatever just look at the state of it oh that is a work of art that is brilliant our next up is the case ih magnum 260 sugarcane again by case ih brazil and eConnect modding 29.47 megabyte on the download and it looks like an off-road buggy that's the only way i can describe it obviously it's got the extended Drive shafts, axles, whatever you want to call it, because obviously it needs to go through certain rows. It just, just looks funny, but all right, fair enough. 284 horsepower engine, 24 mile an hour top speed, 282 grand. You've got the wheel brands of Trelleborg, Michelin, Continental, Midas, BKT, Braderstein, and then back to Trelleborg. And there is no options to change the wheel setup. It is what it is, because obviously they're on spacers or just a bigger axle, whatever. You then got front weights, so you got standard, 650 kilo, 980 or standard. Wheel weights, now this is nice as a separate option, I must admit. 450 kilo, 1350 or zero. Cabin curtains, so you've got none, front, right, back, front and rear. I'm not sure what that's supposed to be. Front and I mean, that's, is it front and right? I mean, it's missing configuration, whatever that says. And then we've got all of them. So front, right, and back, or none. You've got rear cabin plates. So spin back round. This is a number plate. So you've got with bracket and plate, or nothing. So if you want to go a bit incognito, you know, if you think the government's got a bit too much big brother on the go, yeah, just get rid of your number plate. Then you've got window colour, clear, dark, or clear. Side signals. Yes or no. So if you want to go for a more American style, yeah, get some of those on the go. Attaches, three-point or no three-point hydraulic. You're going to leave the three-point on though, aren't you? I mean, a tractor like this, you, you you sort of need to, I would have said. And then you got an option of... No, that's it. Three, I thought it was a different option on that one. Okay, and then you've got the seat material. This is interesting. So you've got fabric and leather. So we'll spin it around. We'll have a little look inside. There we are. So that's leather. That's fabric. All right. Fair enough. Fair enough indeed. Now, obviously, like all the others from custom modding, there's a few tricks up its sleeve as well. So LB and right stick left and right opens up the door. LB and right stick up and down does the rear window. LB and RB together left, uh, right stick left and right moves the steering wheel up and down. And right stick up and down does all the blinds at the same time. So if you've got the front one, you've got the right one, and you've got the back one, or just any of the combinations, RB and RB together, right stick up and down, jobs are good in. Fair enough. And then, we haven't finished yet, if you do RB and right stick left and right, opens the bonnet. It <laughs> opens the bonnet, the hood, whatever you want to call it. It's just like the Steiger earlier on. You could come in from an immersive point of view, tinker with your tractor. Oh, that's ace. Now, last mod for the day is the Case IH Puma SWB LWB, again by Case IH Brazil and eConnect modding, 49.13 megabyte on the download. And you're going to find this and the next one under medium tractors because it's a pack of two. Obviously, you've got a short wheelbase and a long wheelbase version. So, 182 horsepower engine, 24 mile an hour top speed, 120 grand. You then got Trelleborg. Continental, Midas, Michelin, BKT, Vredestein, back to Trelleborg. There's a couple of different versions on the go in there. Got sugar cane spice, sugar cane, I was going to say spicing then, sugar cane spacing, rear twin wheels. Yeah, you've got all sorts on the go there, that's all right. So you've got front weights, zero, 200 kg, 406 or zero. Wheel weights, 200, 400, 600 or zero. 
clear windows, mid windows, dark windows, or back to clear. Curtains, yes or no. So that's sort of, it's a yes or no, rather than a right, front, back combo like the previous one, it's yes or no. Now, attaches, this is the interesting one. I thought this was on the previous one, but it's got confused. It come on this one. So we've got standard sugar cane hitch. Sugar cane hitch without three point or standard. So you've got the normal ball hitch at the bottom, pin hitch, whichever one you want to call it. You then got a sugar cane one. It sort of puts it a little bit further out. So you can get a sugar cane trailer on the back a bit more easier. And if you went one without the hitch, you got that one there without the three point. It gives it more space for your trailer. Oh, that's interesting, that is. And you've got the seat material, so you've got black fab well gray fabric gray fabric two in red and then leather and leather in red again oh let's see let's have a let's have a look on the old uh black leather so that's the black leather right okay so we'll go for the yeah it's like different texture change i must admit now obviously we've got the long wheelbase version as well 234 horsepower engine so a little bit more horsepower 24 mile an hour top speed the same 150 grand so 30 grand extra and all the options are going to be the same now we've got them here so let's see you've got the short wheelbase and the long wheelbase version let's see how much shorter or longer it really is so if we uh I mean, not a lot in it, though, is there? There's not a lot. I mean, it's a couple of inches, but all right, fair enough. Fair enough. So all the options are going to be the same. So there's, again, a few tricks up its sleeve. LB and right stick left and right does the door. LB and right stick up and down does the back window. LB and RB together, left stick does the seat turning, which is interesting. LB and RB and right stick left and right moves the seat uh, steering wheel. And then up and down does the blind. I mean, there's only one blind in this. So obviously that option, yes or no, it's the front blind, that's it. And then you've got RB and right stick left and right. Move the seat backwards and forwards. So if you're on the cab like that and you think, oh, I'm a bit far away from the steering wheel, move yourself a little bit forward. You could drive your tractor like a granny. That's, that's like that's like how your nan drives her, isn't it? Right up on the steering wheel. Or not. Just move yourself back like a normal person. Oh, that's ace. That is ace indeed. We've also got a new map. So this is El Dorado, again, by the same modders. Case IH Brazil and eConnect modding. 440.01 megabyte on the download. And it says it's Brazilian map based on the city of Rapidopolis in Sao Paulo. Oh, very nice. So that's your mods done for you. Why not go treat yourself and pick up some Andy's Farm merch? Link in the description below. And whilst you're down there, why not hit the join button? Come join us on Andy's Farm. And if you haven't already, hit the subscribe button. It's muchly appreciated. But for me, that's it for today. And I'll see you in the next one.